young Connie, the honorable NS Nobu, and Nincomo, I shall remember Parliament or Finance Committee, no, so na in the Sanum. Uh, the course so and no one fancy to make a and bear because the minority has been insisting said they were ambushed when it comes to the introduction of the bill uh, about under a certificate of urgency. No, uh, in the sun is a day and a course. So, Chief, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to your listeners. I'm hoping you are doing well today, sir. Yeah, I'm terrific. And you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, uh, yeah. kindly yeah. paint the picture for us as to what transpired in Parliament that triggered the minority walking out. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, Parliament, we work with uh, procedures and also we, we work with what we call a business statement. Mm. And the business statement will have to give you the itinerary for the preceding, the, the next week. Okay. Uh, and that will be read on Friday. So on Friday, this business statement was read for our our work on the following week and the following week but mm. which did not capture the e levy okay so we were of the view say even we raise it at that point that the e levy is not featured on the business statement mm. and so therefore the leadership of the house and that is the majority uh, majority side should make sure or the business uh, committee should make sure that they put the e levy there because we've been waiting for this e levy for a very long time since last year Hmm. And they say, oh, they are working on it, and therefore uh, it will not be taken. The, uh, that is this week. So hmm. we shouldn't worry. Now, about uh, that was around Sunday, Monday, and then we, we, we had an info that they were bringing the e levy on Tuesday. Hmm. Say, what? How can that happen? It was not captured on the business statement. We all marshalled and went to Parliament in our numbers. And lo and behold, the the the, the e levy was introduced. Now, what happened was before we we go on to the public business, mm. we have a, a, a litany of questions to be asked the various ministers, respective ministers. So yesterday, you realize that they intentionally asked the ministers to stay away from those questions, and so mm. the ministers stayed away. So the first thing we did was to go straight to the public business and took that particular item. And so our leader said, no, this was an ambush because we were not informed. Yes, we were in the house. Our numbers we were there, but he said we were, we were not informed. And also the bill, the, 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 the report was not given to us at the first place mm. for us to look into it and read and then uh, uh, have any meaningful uh, debate on it. Yes, the, the, the bill was late or the report was late last year, but who knows anything could uh, could have changed in the bill uh, or in the in the report. So therefore, we were supposed to be given the bill. So over there, we were given the report to peruse it. And what happened? You know, the the, the reason why the minority worked out is to not to give legitimacy to the person. Now, they are less by uh, Honorable Ajua Safo, which is 137. And you know, the Supreme Court ruled that 137, you cannot take any decision in the House. You must have 138 to form a quorum to take a decision. A decision, of, a, a, a decision as this, which is major of national interest, you must have 138. Now, if you were to be in the chamber, would have given legitimacy if you had voted against it. Would have given legitimacy for that decision to be taken. Mm. Quorum would have been formed. But you see, because we voted against, they would have voted even 137 or 136 and would have carried the day. Now, so we decided that we have our colleague, which is Asin Nof, mm. who was not in the chamber at that time, because that time he was attending to a, 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 a court. He was in the Supreme Court, locked up. So there was no way he could have come before uh, that decision would have been taken. Mm -hmm. And so we said, no, we are working out not to give legitimacy to that decision, uh, uh, to the decision that would be taken. And exactly that was what we did. And so if 137, less than one half, could take a decision of that nature, then it is illegal. That was what Honorable uh, 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 Alba Sumani 
the, the right honorable speaker did when we rejected the budget. Now you realize that Supreme Court overturned it. Even though the majority overturned it, Supreme Court also ruled that that overturning was, uh, I mean, in consonance with the law. Mm. And so, therefore, you need 138 to form a quorum to take decision. And uh, that was what we did. But they, 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 they went ahead to take the decision. So I think uh, we, we, are, we are making plans to head to the Supreme Court for uh, further interpretation. All right. Now, clarify two things for me. One has to do with the fact that you were already asking for the e-levy bill to be brought to Parliament. Mm -hmm. Regardless of it being an ambush or not, mm -hmm. it would have still landed on your desks for you to debate. And then after that, issues about quorum would have popped up. Issues mm -hmm. about your presence in Parliament would have popped up. And so mm -hmm. how different is what happened yesterday, apart from the fact that there was the surprise element, mm -hmm. how different was yesterday from any other day if you had known about it? No, the, 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 the surprise is, an, is a major element, was a major element to us. Mm. And you see, let me tell you something. They thought they were very fast. They, 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 one of the committees, uh, they have planned for one of the committee to travel. And really, they traveled. Mm. They went to Holland. I think they were going somewhere. They went to Holland. Now, when they got to Holland, the majority side, one of them said, oh, he was going to pass UK. He was going to pass UK and get something there before coming. Not knowing, he landed in Ghana. And our colleague, as you see, all of them thought they were smart. And our colleague who was also in Holland met some of our colleagues who were called to rush back to Accra. And mm. he also came back. So the surprise element was very critical to us yesterday. Mm. On any other day, we were planning for this e levy on any other day. Every day we were, we were, we were, I mean, we were prepared for this e levy. All right, now, so let, let, yesterday. Let me ask yes. this. All other things being equal, mm. if you had been informed and the mm -hmm. bill had been laid, yes. what different would have happened? We would have perused the report very well. Mm. Our, our, our colleague who was in the, in the Supreme Court would have been around. Mm. Our colleague who was in the Supreme Court would have been around. You know, they calculated everything. So if on any other day, we would have prepared, read the report, debated it as we did yesterday, stood on our ground. If we were 137, all the 137 will say we are voting against it and we'll vote one by one for our constituents and Ghanaians to know that MPA and there's not where Ashama has voted against the E levy. Mm. That would have been different. Fine. Now, if they were 138 on any day, they would have passed it in a week because if they are 138 with Honorable Ajasafo in the chamber, they would have passed it. Mm. And again, if they were 137, with us in the chamber, we would have helped them to form that quorum to have passed it, even though they would not be 138. Mm. But because we were there, we would have given them that legitimacy to form the quorum. Mm. Do, do you understand I, that? I get your point. And so these are the uh, scenarios and the dynamics about the whole thing. So our moving out to, uh, yesterday was to give further, I mean, uh, uh, time for us to peruse the, even the report and not to give them legitimacy to be able to pass it so mm. that on any other day, if they had, or if they would bring it on any other day, they would have done justice to it. All right. Now, if the Supreme Court's ruling previously is anything to work with, the Speaker of Parliament knew the ruling mm -hmm. of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. and therefore could have drawn the attention of the majority side that this is the position of the law, and mm -hmm. therefore you don't have the numbers. Why yeah. didn't that happen? You see, that is our standing orders. Mm. And for the, the Supreme Court, anything that happens, the speaker is in the chair to guide us. Okay. So he does not interfere in the business or anything of that mm. sort. Okay. Now, our rule says that if anything of that sort or breaches are about to occur, a member from both sides, any other side, could raise up and draw the attention of the speaker to that. 
if nobody draws the speaker's attention to that, mm. speaker assumes that all is well. Mm. You understand that? Okay. So the speaker cannot just get up to say that, oh, you don't have the quorum, so I cannot put the question. Mm. Somebody might have done that. Might have drawn the speaker's attention, even though the speaker uh, 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 might know or may know that uh, you don't have the quorum, but our rule says that somebody, a member, needs to draw the attention of the speaker to that effect before the speaker can act on it. So we cannot blame the speaker uh, 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 at this point. All right. As much as you, 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 you have tried to cli that, clarify that for us, what mm -hmm. I want to appreciate is this. The Supreme Court's ruling becomes law, right? Sure. And so the speaker knew the law, that this is the law, mm -hmm. and that refusing to let it be known to the majority side mm -hmm. was an infringement of the law if he didn't do so. No, but, not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. the, 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 laws, the, the laws and our standing orders, where we, we, let me say, let, let me put it this way. We, we know the Supreme Court uh, ruling has become law. Mm. You understand? We all know that. Yeah. We also know that we have constitution backing us. And aside this constitution, aside the Supreme Court's rulings, not this particular ruling, aside this one, mm. there is a provision for members of parliament that if something of, if there's any violation of that sort, be it from the constitution, be from the Supreme Court or any other law, a member must draw the attention of the speaker. That's why the fact that the speaker might have been in the known. Mm. So it's a procedure, it's a procedural uh, this thing. So oh. there's no way anybody could say that ah, the speaker can even preside over uh, 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 maybe uh, 10 people to take decision. If nobody, if nobody gets up to tell speaker that speaker, we don't we, we don't have quorum to take decision on this matter, speaker would have speaker would assume that everything was well because that is what the law says. That is what that is the provision of the law. All right. Now when it comes to this speakership and then members of parliament. Let, let me create a scenario uh someone created yesterday for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as to your resort to the uh, court for the resolution of this matter. Mm -hmm. Now, a person says, okay, so if the majority were able to pass the bill into a law, mm -hmm. what stops the minority from also mm -hmm. using the same process to also reject the passage of that bill into a law, seeing that today, if they decide to, you know, also bring in a motion for the rejection of that law as a surprise yeah. element, they would have their 137 in parliament. Mm -hmm. The minority would also have, plus the independent candidates, would also have their 137. And so the issue about quorum would not be there. And so they can call for the rejection of, uh, you know, the, the, the bill passed into a law, uh, into an act. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, so, and that was what I was telling you that the 137, person from mm. our side was in court. No, I, I mean today. I mean tomorrow. You would have your full house in terms of representation by the minority side. Tomorrow. Today. If you decide to, because your, your uh, Asin North MP would be with you in parliament, would he not? Yes, definitely. So I'm saying that, now this yes. is the proposal of the person. Okay. Is there a possibility for you to move a motion for the rejection of what was passed yesterday with your numbers being up to date? Oh yes, there's a there's a possibility. Mm. There's a possibility. We are weighing all those options, but don't forget that at this point in time, it is Mr. Speaker himself mm. who is seated in the chair. Mm. Uh -huh. So we are weighing all the options. Now we have that. You see, the first instance where we rejected the budget, we were one thirty-seven, mm. and they walked out. Mm. Now they said it was an illegality because we did not form quorum to take that decision. Mm. They overturned it. And so that can be applicable to what is happening uh, 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 now. Mm. And so the Supreme Court also affirmed their decision of overturning it. And so all other us favors the minority 
in this aspect. And so it's an option on the table. Now, a question somebody would ask is, why this opposition to this E-Levy? Why is the minority so bent on the E-Levy not being passed? Uh, because we thought the E-Levy was going to be used to collateral our future once again. And two, we thought it would burden the Ghanaian or it will, it will impoverish the Ghanaian the more. Mm. We also thought it was retrogressive because you cannot tax somebody's pocket. You cannot go and dip your hand into somebody's pocket and take money. The money does not belong to you. So you can't do that. And that is simple. Assuming with that admitting, I don't do mumu. I put my money under my bed. Can you come and take it unless you're an arm robber or you're a thief? Mm. That's where you can take it. And I said, I don't want to keep my money in my bag, in my room. Let it be on my phone. And you said, because I put it on my phone, the phone that I bought myself, I put it on my phone. You are taking some out of it. And we talk, it's thievery. And that is why we are against it. Yes, because we are responsible opposition, we would have said that, oh, hey, government, go ahead, do it. You can even do it 5%. You can even do it 6%. Just for us to win, to get political favor from the people, we can say do it because we know no matter, no matter. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, any form that you pass this e levy, it will go against the government. But because we are responsible opposition and we don't want to impoverish Ghanaians the more, we are deciding that this e levy, give it a second thought, rather tax the telcos, tax the communication. I mean, uh, 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 networks. Rather, get money from them. Don't take it rather from the, 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 the citizen. It, it, it will rather uh, 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 impoverish them. And that is all that we are doing. But, but it, it's not because of anything. After all, if this E levy uh, uh, is passed today, even though uh, 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 we, the NDC, in the NDC, we are saying when we come to power, uh, our general secretary said we're going to uh, uh, cancel it. Granted that we did not cancel it, it will still help them. Mm. It will still help the power. It will still help the government. Mm. But it will impoverish the people. And we don't want that. And that is why we are saying that it should be kicked out for now or given a second thought so that we find a, a, we find a different way of taxing the telcos rather than taxing the individuals who are sweated for their money and, and save them there. But that proposal about taxing the telcos, it mm. would obviously mean the telcos of loading that burden on the final consumer, that would be you and I, as to data charges going up and then uh, voice uh, subscriptions also going up. They will just offload it to us. So it, in the end, it will, it will be back to square one. Do you know the profit margin of the telcos? You I don't have know. No idea. The, gov the, government can, the government can streamline their activities that they cannot put, why? They are also in business. Mm. They only want to be folded up. They want to maintain, uh, to, to remain in business. Mm. And so I'm saying that if you look at their profit margin, et cetera, you will know that these people are making exorbitant, they are, I mean, they are just siphoning the, 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 the customers. And so therefore, if the government decides that, okay, we are taxing the telcos, as it's been done in any other jurisdiction, rather than this. Already, I'm telling you that, 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 that this thing is not 1.5, uh, as has been stated, because the telcos are taking their 2%, 1% in, 1% out. Mm. And we are also paying 1.5 to government. So you are in, invariably, you are paying 3.5% uh, uh, mm. out of your money. How can it be so? Mm. How can it be so? Well, ah, so that is why we are saying that they rather should be taxed and uh, to reduce even this e levy. Uh, from last year, we were saying we are going to get 6.9 billion, 6.9 billion, and we are even in April. Are we still going to get the same amount? Mm. And what what would that amount do for this economy? And so it is only for you to use as collateral to go and get additional loan. Because that was 69 million cannot do anything for Ghana. It cannot change the economy. You let's wait and see. It can never, it will not do anything for us. But just you can have it, collateral, collateralize it, and go and get an additional loan somewhere and come and do something. And then what is the benefit? What is the way forward? You are just increasing our desktop. 
Honourable, well, thank you for making time to speak to us this morning. It was good to my brother. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Ashaiman constituency joining us uh, this morning and sharing his thoughts with us.